for an issue. That it was just a matter of us coming together and saying, Sister Hillary, you win. Sister Hillary. <laughs> but for whatever reason, we're up Obama. Move those rules around. 
We carefully took the experience that some of us had from the management of conventions and from the management of the delegate selection process. And we got there. And I am absolutely amazed that how some of our fellow journalists now don't even understand what happened in Michigan and what happened in Florida. Let me tell you, the Democratic Party didn't have anything to do with when the election was held in Florida or when the election was held in Michigan. Those are decisions made by the legislature of those states, not by the Democratic Party. And for journalists to keep screaming that it's a party decision, it is not a party. It never was a party decision. The party can't tell legislative bodies what to do and should. And so therefore, as Democrats, we should put our heads together and really find a way to make sure in November of 2008, both Michigan and Florida are in the Democratic column for the election of a president of these United States. Now let me suggest to you how that might be done. Let me suggest to you how that might be done. I suspect that those delegates who are from Florida and from Michigan ought to be invited to the convention in their delegate status. They just shouldn't be permitted, as the rules said, to participate in the one vote and the only vote that the rules were applicable to. And that's a vote on the presidency. You keep those two out, you give them full membership otherwise, and the results will be an enthusiastic level of participation far beyond keeping them out, or far beyond any broken distribution of delegates, far beyond any of that nonsense. The rules are the rules, and the rules should be scrupulously obeyed. And I said in this program, and I said in other reports, you ought to start working with the interpretation of the rules the way in which they are. And then finally, let me tell you, there's no doubt in my mind, no matter which of the two nominees ends up at the top of the heap, we're going to beat John McCain. I saw, I saw, I saw Barack Obama on the floor of the Senate doing the economic package that they were putting together. He walked over to John McCain. He put his arm around John McCain in a jovial fashion, and they were talking. And I said, oh my God, because what you saw on television was a young man assisting an old man across the street. I love it. There's nothing wrong with being old. But if you are old, stay out of camera shot of young, handsome, young, good looking people. I also watched John McCain when he tried to explain his relationship with that audience. You remember that? That lady? I kept looking. I'd look at McCain, I'd look at his wife, and I'd look at the lobbyists. It was obvious to me he had an easy explanation. At his age and his eyesight, he got him mixed up.
You invite people to come and make presentations, and there's only one vote in the damn caucus, and it's you. We got some dead in the caucus. But it never, ever prevents us from being decisive as we swept the deck, as we swept the deck in the late 80s to take back every seat statewide except one. As we elected two U.S. Senators and re-elected two U.S. Senators on the Democratic side of the aisle. As we dominate the congressional delegation for the last four or five decades. As we dominate both houses of the legislature for a number of years. It's because as Democrats, we know exactly how to put the numbers together to get the result. We must provide that kind of leadership for this nation. Because let me tell you, the Republicans are not going to go away easily. They're going to do their best to hold on to their weapons. They're going to try every trick in the book to get there. They're going to represent things that never even occurred in anybody's life. As Democrats in California, we've been through that. We know how to deal with it, and we ought to help provide the nation. I know that come January, if you haven't already made your reservations in D.C. for your hotel room, I would urge you, after you buy the book, make your reservations. Make your reservations for your hotel. Because my guess is, you want to go to the inauguration, whether it's Barack or whether it's Hillary. It doesn't matter as long as it's a Democrat. God 